Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm uh, finally returned from all the festivities of Christmas and New Year and all that good stuff. Um, as you may have seen from the title of this video and uh, the fact that I'm sitting in this new world here that we haven't seen before, um, I'm going to be starting a new series um, from now on I guess. Uh, I've updated uh, Minecraft and Computercraft, all the newest updates, finally got that working. So this is uh, a Computercraft 1.48, I believe it is. Um, well, the newest one at this moment, anyway. And it has the advanced computers and stuff, um, which I'm not going to be getting into just yet, but I think I will eventually. Um, so yeah, somehow though, uh, since I've updated, Minecraft is very laggy all of a sudden. I'm getting a low frame rate, and it's getting... I don't know, there's something weird going on. I'm not quite sure what. Um, but yeah, we'll have to live with that for now. It's not too bad, because most of the time in these series I'm in a notepad anyway, so you won't be bothered by the low frame rate too much. Um, anything else? Oh yeah. So last video I asked people to um, let me know if there's anything you would like me to do in these series, um, any certain areas you'd like me to cover. Um, haven't had too many replies yet, just um, someone mentioned do something with monitors, um, which I'd like to do, especially now you have the um, advanced computers with the advanced monitors I believe you have, um, and they give you a lot more options, uh, a lot more things you can do with them. Um, so that might be interesting to do at some point, um, but not just yet, probably at the end of this series when I've got this thing up and running. Um, talking of which, what the hell am I doing here? Um, so last video I said I wanted to do something with the uh, item management, having turtles uh, manage items in a chest um, and do something useful with that, uh, but I wasn't sure what yet. Um, so what I've come up with is um, I want to make some kind of uh, production line, at least that's the, the concept. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a bunch of chests here in a row, and each chest is going to have its own turtle you know, managing the contents of that chest. Um, keeping track of what's in it and uh, how much of what is in it. And then what I want to do is have one turtle or computer at the front here um, which you can kind of order items from. So you can say I would like uh, a diamond pickaxe please and uh, the turtle up here will go alright that's that's fine and it will send a message to these guys down here and it will say I need uh, three diamonds and two sticks and uh, the guys over here will be like, oh god, uh, do I have that in my chest? Um, and if yes, then it will you know, spit out these items and uh, make sure they end up at um, the crafting turtle over here. Holy squids. Uh, it'll <laughs> so the items will end up at the crafting turtle over here. And uh, once he's got everything he needs, he'll build um, whatever you ordered and uh, dump it in a chest for you. So... Um, that is the basic concept. Um, there's a couple of things I haven't quite figured out yet, like uh, how to get the items uh, from these guys at the chests uh, down to the front over there at the uh, crafting turtle. Um, so, I mean, obviously you can use pipes and just have these guys put it in a pipe and uh, pipe the items back down to, to over here. But the, the issue you're going to have is um, because you've got a bunch of turtles working simultaneously and spitting in items at the same time, you're not going to be entirely sure which items arrive here first. Um, and that's quite important for this turtle to know, oops, this turtle to know um, when he's um, making the crafting uh, recipe. So he needs to know which item arrives when, uh, so he knows exactly what is what. Um, so I haven't figured that out yet, but I'll... I'll you know, think about that some other time. Um, for now what I want to start with is um, just simply managing items in a chest. So we're going to start with this guy here. Um, I've labeled this chest wooden materials. You can see I've got some different ones here. Ore, stone, sand, clay, mob drops, and organic stuff. Um, so we're going to start with wood for now. I mean the, the program will be the same for every turtle except you know what's in the chest that's the only difference um, so I've made a small start um, I've also labeled this turtle 
Oh, label. Good. Oh, they improved this as well. That's nice. I like that. Um, so I've I've already started making a program. It's called Chess Manager. Um, I'll just open it here. Real quick. Oh, no tab completion. That's a bit weird. Um, okay, you know what? I'll not open it here because it's a pain. I'll open it in Notepad. Here we go. Um, so what I've got right now is uh, an array at the top that has uh, the contents of the chest and the another array that has the amount of items for that uh, content. So there's 64 planks in the chest and sticks also 64. And if we look in the chest, that is indeed the case. Um, and then uh, I wrote a couple of functions um, which have to do with taking stuff out of the chest and putting them in the chest and the same for the buffer and I'll explain what's going on there. So the thing is um, when a turtle pulls something out of a chest you use the turtle.suck function or suck up in this case <laughs> which is um, an interesting function name I don't know exactly why they went for that, but that's fine. Um, and when you suck things out of a chest with a turtle, you can't really decide um, which slot you suck from. What it does is just takes the very first one like this and puts it in its inventory. Um, so this, in this case, when it sucks from the, the chest at the top here, it'll just grab the first item it can, and it'll grab all of them if you just use um, suck up without any... Uh, uh, parameters or arguments um, and it'll have this stack of wood in its inventory then so this will be here um, but to get to this second you know item um, you can do suck up again and it'll grab the second one and also put it in its inventory uh, but you can't do this forever you know because you've got fewer slots in the turtle than you do in the chest um, so you're gonna have to store these items somewhere else uh, and what I've done for that, and I think I already kind of explained this last video as well, is we're going to have a chest at the bottom which is going to be used as a buffer. So whenever you've taken one item out of the chest above you and you want to get to the second one, what you do is you put that first item you got down in the chest below you and um, then you grab the second item from the chest above you. Um, so you're kind of moving items from top to bottom to, to get to them and then when you're done you got the item you need you move them all back again uh, so let me just grab this stuff yep okay um, so that's the idea so I've wrote, written four fun functions one uh, take from the chest one put in the chest and one take from the buffer and put in the buffer uh, the, so I'm calling the lower chest here the buffer and the top chest the chest um, and if we can open notepad I can show you so first function here take from chest that's the the top chest um, what it does first it checks just to make sure that it doesn't have um, an item in its first slot at the moment so just check the item count in your first slot is zero um, and if that's the case then you can suck up from the uh, chest above you um, and then I'm gonna have to explain what I'm doing here um, so what I'm doing here is keeping track of which item is in my inventory right now um, just with a number and this number is the um, number of the item in the array here so you start with zero which means I have nothing in my uh, inventory right now no item um, and then I've got another um, pointer over here which basically m means you know this number is referring to a place in the array here in uh, the chest array. So this pointer here, or this number here, is representing uh, the next item that you will suck up from the chest. So in this case it's number one, which is plank, is going to be the first one that you suck up. So after you've sucked that up, um, all of a sudden your inventory pointer is going to be equal to the chest pointer, because you just sucked up the planks. So now your inventory pointer is the planks. That's what's in your inventory and your chest pointer is now no longer the planks because the next item you will suck up in the, from the chest will be the sticks so we do chest pointer plus plus which 
I haven't actually done this uh, in my previous videos because I wanted to keep it simple for you, but plus plus means chest pointer, um, it means this, chest pointer is equal to chest pointer uh, plus one, but it's uh, a lot shorter, um, so a lot of programming languages will have this plus plus thing, because um, doing plus one is done so often, so commonly, um, that they made it like a short version for it, it's plus plus. So it adds one to the chest pointer. Um, then when you uh, put things back in the chest, you need to check that you actually have an item in your inventory, because if you don't, then things will go wrong. Um, so make sure you actually have something in your inventory, and if that's the case, then drop up and it will put the item, or all the items in slot one, uh, into the chest. Um, you can put your inventory pointer back to zero, because there's nothing in your inventory anymore. And the chest pointer is now um, gone one back again. Uh, so let's say you had uh, planks in your inventory and the chest pointer was pointing at sticks. You put the planks back and your uh, chest pointer has to go minus one. So it's similar to the plus plus. You go minus minus, which means chest pointer is equal to chest pointer minus one. Um, <coughs> then we've got uh, the buffer. So when we take things from the buffer, well let's, let's start with putting things in the buffer. So you've just taken something from the chest and you're now going to put it in the buffer because you want to get to the sticks. Um, so check that you have an item in your inventory just to make sure. Um, you do turtle at drop down, so put the item in the buffer below you, the chest below you, um, and you can put your inventory pointer back to zero. You don't have to do anything with the chest pointer here because that's still exactly the same situation. So let's say you took out the planks, you put the planks in the buffer, well you're still going to be pulling out the sticks next, so you don't have to do anything with the uh, the chest pointer. Um, so take from buffer, the last one. So you just put the planks in, um, and now you want to take them back out again. So you check that you've got nothing in your inventory, just to be sure. Um, chest pointer is greater than one. Uh, then, oh yeah, checking two things. Um, let's say that there's nothing in the buffer either. Yeah, I also have to check that. So um, you got to check that your chest pointer is greater than one, because that's only possible if you've, you know, put something in the buffer below you, uh, or have it in your inventory already. Um, and if it's if chest pointer would be one, then you wouldn't uh, have anything to pull out of the uh, buffer to start with, so you don't want to be doing that if there's nothing in it. Um, so then, if there's nothing wrong here, then you do turtle to suck down, pull the items out, um, your inventory pointer becomes chest pointer minus one, um, because, let's say you're pulling out the planks, that means your chest pointer would be pointing at these sticks here, which means it's two. Um, but you've got the uh, item before that in your inventory, which is the planks. Um, so you do chest pointer minus one to get the uh, correct number for your inventory pointer. Right, and that is as far as I've gotten at the moment. Um, and I will continue next video, I guess. So you're now up to speed. Um, and in the meantime, I can maybe <laughs> make this building a building rather than a flat surface and a little bit more interesting than, than this. Um, but I won't be recording that because if you want to watch people build stuff, you should be watching other videos than this one because this is all educational and interesting. At least that's the general idea. Um, so I think that will be enough for today. So yeah, this will be the start of a relatively big program probably. Um, so we've got quite a lot to do. And uh, then <laughs> once this guy's done with like the basic... Uh, chest management, I've got to write this guy here, and that's going to be tricky as well, because he's got to know all sorts of recipes off by heart, and oh, it's, it's going to be a pain. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually. Um, in the meantime, I might do some odd random videos in between these series, just to do something different, like maybe I'll, I'll muck about with the advanced computers and advanced monitors. Um, just uh, every now and then, just to do something different and uh, keep this series for uh, in the long run and uh, we'll get <laughs> finish it eventually I guess just like the quarry one finished eventually as well so um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll stop rambling on now and I will see you next video hopefully so see you then